Greetings, viewers and watchers, and um, good evening. I uh, this is sort of just a bit of an update video, I guess. I just tried to do a little Oscar prediction video, and um, it was going on eight minutes, and I barely started. So I'm just gonna do this instead. Um, I, I just I just have a few like sort of movie related things to talk about besides Oscar predictions. First of all, there's an open season three now, and um, I'm getting a little concerned with that now, because it didn't really seem like a popular movie, the first open season. I don't even think it made the companies any money. I don't know why they keep making... I don't know why they keep making sequels, and if they make another one, so if open, if they're, if open season gets to four, and Balto doesn't get past three, that's a little sad, don't you think? But, um, second of all, I'm just, oh my god, I just cannot get this out of my head. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, has anyone else seen the DVD Blu-ray release commercial for The Social Network? It makes this completely ridiculous assumption, it's in a quote from the New York Post, supposedly, I think it is, and they're saying that The Social Network is the first great 21st century film. Meaning that from 2000 up to now, those ridiculous people in New York think that The Social Network is the only good movie that's come out in that time. That is absolute garbage. I don't know how someone could even think that. Because it's... It's just ridiculous. I can't... No one would even think the movie's that good. People would people probably ask me what I would argue. I would argue Moulin Rouge. I would argue The Dark Knight. I would argue a bunch of other things that I can't really think of right now. I can't... I'm recording a video. I can't really pull up my list of favorite movies and stuff. Go on my flick chart and tell you each and every movie that I would argue. But, um... Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I... God. I just cannot stand to hear that. But, um... I've got the Os Oscar predictions printed out here. Got it from Yahoo Movies. And, um... A lot of surprises. I'll, I'll make a bit of small comments here. Inception's got a good amount of nominations. I heard that The Social Network was kind of snubbed out. It got a few. It's still nominated for Best Picture as well as Inception, but uh, The King's Speech, I believe, is the leader. Um, it's the expert pick according to Yahoo Movies, but um, the people are voting for Inception to win, so it's going to be interesting to watch. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh. I'm disappointed that neither Christopher Nolan or Clint Eastwood even got recognized for direction, or even... Neither of them got recognized for directing movies this year, because... I mean... Christopher Nolan missed out with The Dark Knight and, and such, too. I mean... And then, the last thing Clint Eastwood was recognized for, even remotely, is Million Dollar Baby. And then, hereafter... The one that re was released this year. Everyone's saying it's supposed to be his masterpiece and everything. It got one nomination, and it's for visual effects. It's like the giant waterfall comes down. That's the only thing he gets credit for. And it's just really ridiculous. I've, I've been trying to watch Clint Eastwood's movies now that's been, that have been coming out, and they're really good. Like I've seen Gran Torino, and it was really good. I saw Invictus, and it was really good. The man knows how to make movies. He's a cinematic legend. Why aren't you giving him credit? And Christopher Nolan, he's just like this dominating director. He's getting awards for his direction in other places. Why can't the Academy recognize him? I just don't understand. I don't understand how they pick people. But, um... It seems also that Alice in Wonderland has some nominations for, uh, I believe it was art direction and, um, costume design, I believe, are the big ones it has. That's, that's actually good, good for me to hear, because for a movie that was released, like, right after the Academy Awards last year, it's good to know that they're actually recognizing it. So, 
I used to be biased and think that they only pick these later movies, but if they're actually giving nominations to Alice in Wonderland, so... What I'm noticing is there's a lack of animated movies. There's three contenders. There's, of course, Toy Story 3 and How to Train Your Dragon. But, and then there's just this French movie, The Illusionist, I think. It's like, what happened to the other movies? Like, there's Tangled, at least, that could have been thrown in there. And... It's just like, they know Toy Story 3 is going to win, why even fool with it? But, I it just... It's just ridiculous. But, um... But yeah, as you see, I have the predictions. Um... I haven't really been that de dedicated to cinema this year, like um, like I was last year. I saw pretty much everything in the theater, and I have saw everything that was nominated that was released in the U.S. Like the foreign films and documentaries, not really, but all the big screen things I saw. But, um, and I was really dedicated to, I was really interested in watching the Oscars. But this year, I've barely seen anything, and... It just wasn't as interesting this year. Nothing's really impressed... Well, Inception really impressed me. But, um... Nothing's really angered me, except for Toy Story 3. All the publicity that movie's getting. And it's gonna be sad that Pixar's gonna win again. I know they make good films, but they don't have to win every year. I mean... I'm still angry... About... I never commented about that in my Oscar video. I'm so angry about the Best Animated Film winner last year. God, I was either The Princess and the Frog or Fantastic Mr. Fox should have won. You shouldn't tell people, just go with 3D animation. I mean, come on. But, um, I guess that's all I'm going to say right now. I'm getting on seven minutes here. Um, but I have the predictions. I may do a journal on DeviantArt and for Affinity about that. Um... I try, like I said, I tried to make a video talking about it all, and it was over eight minutes, and I barely started. I wasn't going to finish it all. So, um, I just can't do it here. Um, one last thing before I quit. I'm trying, I'm working on my last two Movie Maker projects, and I've, I've finished the Balto Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny version 2.0, but, um, every time I make it into a video, it, like, it, like, glitches, and it doesn't make it right. And I'm thinking something's wrong with what what I put in there, and I'm just trying to figure it out. But um, I'll I'll get that up soon. I'm gonna keep working on it and tweaking it until I get it right. It could be my computer, it could be my movie maker. I don't know what it is. If I added too many clips or too many effects, I don't know. But um, I'll try and get that up soon, and then I have one more. Balto project to do in Movie Maker, and um, then then I'm going to try and get Sony Vegas and try to transition into that, make some more um, AMVs and stuff with that, and then um, we'll just see where it goes from there. I uh, actually have work to do tonight, so I can't spend the whole time on this. So um, this is just an up update. Things are going well here. I. Uh, that's all I have to say for now. I'll um I'll get back to you guys and try to keep working on stuff. All right. Thank you. See ya.